bench squat or bench get up, if you like, for this exercise. So you can see I'm starting with feet parallel, shoulder width, and I'm lifting right up, standing, and dropping back down into that squat, but I'm sitting on the bench as I do it. And then all I'm doing is just lifting straight back up. So it's actually giving you a moment's rest when you're seated on the bench. Your turn to try this one. modified burpee for this one. So you can see I'm using the bench, so it's gonna make the push up a little bit easier. This is a great version of doing burpees for beginners in particular, and it's a great warm up exercise as well. So getting into that push up, um, and then jumping back, and you can see I'm not jumping up at the end either, so I'm just trying to keep the joint impact um, off my knees when I do this exercise. Your turn to try it. elevated glutes bridge for this exercise. So starting on the floor with my heels on top of the bench and I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and my hamstrings and I'm gonna apply all my weight onto my heels and lift all the way up. Now you can see I'm hitting a straight line from my shoulder to my knee once I'm elevated. So we've gotta make sure we get there. Your turn to try this one. legs extension for this exercise. Now this is one of my favorite bench and floor exercises because if you're doing this one correctly, you're really gonna feel it. I'm just starting in a plank position and it's basically like a traditional plank from the bench and I'm just allowing my knees to drop down to the floor and I'm using that legs extension technique to, to pick me back up and put me back into that plank. Your turn to try it.
grab a pair of dumbbells for this next segment. Front squat with a single dumbbell for this one. So you can see that I'm starting with my feet parallel at shoulder width and my knees are right over the top so they're not caving in or I'm not adding extra width to it. Um, I'm holding the dumbbell right in front of me just underneath my chin and it's staying there. It's staying stationary throughout the whole exercise. As I drop down, I'm going to try and get my elbows to my quadriceps which basically marks the perfect lower position in my squat and then I'm going to lift straight back up. Your turn to try this one. goblet lunge with the bench for this exercise. So I've got my back foot on the bench and I'm using it to enable my front leg to take the entire load. Just holding that goblet dumbbell position and dropping down into those lunges. Let's get a set in with one leg and then switch it up and get the other one as well. Your turn to try this one.
working some donkey kicks for this one. Now, I'm not using any dumbbells. However, I am using my forearms and placing my weight on the bench for the extra support. Now, I really just want to focus on those hamstrings and glutes and you want to make sure that you maintain the same bent angle in your knees. So we don't want to release that. You want to make sure you keep it the whole time. Um, then you change legs and hit the other side as well. Your turn. Dumbbell Zerka squat for this exercise. So I'm starting with my feet parallel at shoulder width and you can see that I'm holding the dumbbell in that Zerka hold the same way as you would if it was a barbell. I'm going to drop down and make sure my elbows get to my quadricep and then I'm going to lift straight back up. Make sure you sustain a neutral spine and controlled movement. Your turn to try this one.
side squat. So I'm using the bench to support one of my legs when I'm doing the side squat. Now you can do this with or without a dumbbell, it's up to you. But the important thing is make sure you keep your knee out, drop down into that side squat and we want to make sure that we've got perfect control of that support leg when you do it. Keep your upper body as upright as you can as well. Your turn to try it. working a thruster for this exercise. So this is the traditional version, the bilateral version. So you can see uh, feet are about shoulder width, knees are right on top of it, so we're not pushing the knees out or in. Uh, the elbows are dropping right to the top of the knees and we're pushing up into a palm to palm or neutral grip shoulder press. Let's get you to have a go at this one. Tonight we will
considered shoulder press for this exercise, but this is a little bit different. So you can see that it starts with a neutral hand position with your elbows tucked in. And as you lift, it rotates and looks more like a traditional shoulder press for this one. Make sure your spine remains nice and neutral. Keep your chest proud and protect your back through this exercise. Your turn. traditional lateral raise for this exercise. So seated on the bench with a neutral spine, nice sturdy base, and we're just lifting into these lateral delts raises with your wrists nice and straight and perfectly lateral movement. Now we're just gonna go slightly above shoulder height and we're gonna stop there and then we're gonna return at the negative nice and slow. Your turn to try this one.
bent over T rows for this exercise. So you can see a nice sturdy stance, the knees bent, the spine's protected and it's neutral. And as Coach Levi is throwing these T rows up, his elbows are meeting in a straight line. So you've got to make sure you watch for that. Squeeze with your shoulder blades to complete the exercise. Your turn. Stiff leg deadlifts for this one. So you can see the knees are soft straight and they're not fully bending as you drop down as you would with a conventional deadlift. So you're going to get that really good stretch in the hamstrings. You're going to get it in the lower back as well. You can see the dumbbells are just dropping straight back and Coach Levi is holding his shoulders back so he's not slouching. The feet are nice and parallel and they're at shoulder width. Your turn.
single arm row, nicely supported by the bench for this one. So very important, just release the dumbbell until your arm's nice and straight. And then when you pull it up, you want to pull towards your rib cage with your elbows tucked in. Keep your wrists nice and straight and keep your spine neutral as well. Both sides, your turn. Dumbbell chest press for this exercise. So you want to make sure you start off with your lower back pinned right up against the bench. So you want to make sure it doesn't arch up. And then you're going to bring your arms down nice and wide. Elbow to elbow should be a straight line. And then you're going to press up in a nice vertical thrust. Very important to have control over your movement. Your turn to try it. Let's go.
pull over from a supine position for this one. So you can see I've got an eyelet grip going as far as holding the dumbbells concerned. And then I'm keeping my arms relatively soft straight to really emphasize on the triceps. Now, if you bend your arms a little bit more, it's going to give you more emphasis on your chest. So there is a variation. Your turn to try it. Chest fly for this exercise. So we're going to lie down on the bench with our lower back pinned right up against the bench. Now you want to make sure you're getting good foot support from this before you get started. And then we're going to open wide. Now you want to make sure you don't exceed the T line when you bring the um, fly to the down position. And then you want to push up with soft straight arms and bring those dumbbells together right at the top. Your turn to try it. Concentration curls. Now this is a great biceps isolation. So you can see I've got my elbow 
inside of my thigh and support it. And all I'm doing is just pumping out some biceps curls perpendicular to my leg. So I'm going to hit one side and then I'm going to hit the other side as well. Your turn. Skull crusher for this exercise. Now, there's a bunch of different ways of doing this, but I'll show you the way I like to do it. So, I like to start off with parallel arms so that when you're dropping your dumbbells, it's missing your head and it's actually giving you the most range of movement. So, I'm trying to get 90 degrees movement out of this. Make sure the elbows remain nice and stationary and your back is pinned right up against the bench when you do it. Your turn. Bye. 
Starting with your arms straight, holding up the dumbbell, we're going to go straight into some dumbbell crunches on the bench. So you've just got to make sure that your lower back remains pinned against your bench and it's just a nice lift of the shoulder blades whilst keeping your arms nice and straight for this one. Your turn to try it. Dumbbells, abs, tuck. Now, you could do this with or without the dumbbell. So if you've got the core strength to do it with the dumbbell, then do that. Otherwise, you can always lose the dumbbell and just do it manually. You can see I'm holding the seat for support and then just pulling those knees all the way to my chest and then releasing until I've got nice straight legs. Your turn to try this one.
bench top crunch. Now make sure you get nice and close to your bench for this one. So you're creating a small package to start with. And then when you do those crunches, they're going to feel really tight because of the confined space. So this is an excellent way of training, in particular, your upper abs. Your turn to try this exercise. Reverse fly with a pulse for this one. So lying on the bench in a prone position, arms are extended, soft straight, and all we're doing is we're lifting up, getting that reverse fly in, and we're pulsing with it as well. Now you can see as I lift, I'm also lifting my chest. So we're really getting inside that back. Your turn to try it. Working some prone jacks for this exercise. Now this is a fairly easy variation because we're using the bench for some elevation which is going to take some of your weight off it. A nice warm up exercise or it's a good exercise between difficult exercises. Your turn to try it. hips thruster with a single leg for this one. So using the bench for a bit of elevation, you can see my arms are right out in that crucifix position. And I'm just pushing with the hips and lifting right up as much as I can and dropping back down. We're going to try this with both legs. Your turn.
fairly easy variation mountain climber for this exercise. So you can see I'm using the bench to create some elevation and to give me some assistance with it. Make sure your knees are coming all the way through, straight down the middle, nice and light on your toes for this one. Your turn to try it. Well done for getting through your workout today guys. Let's take a moment to stretch and cool our body back down now. Comment and let us know what you thought of today's workout and remember to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest workouts.